How are you guys doing today? Good. I guess that means good. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's uh, you know always an exciting day. Have the uh, National Signing Day. A lot of hard work goes into it by a lot of people, and um, it's always nice to have it concluded, especially when you feel it was successful, which we do. Feel really good about this class, guys. That we our coaches did a tremendous job of evaluating the t the talent, the football athleticism, but also the character of these individuals as students and as just as citizens. And we feel like we've got a very good group coming in. We feel like we uh, met our needs for the most part, got most of the guys that we targeted, and feel this, this class has excellent balance from offense, defense, a little bit of special teams, or a lot of special teams when you count in the returners and everything else. And, um, you know, we, we, again, met a lot of our needs. Up front, one of the things we said we wanted to do, we needed to get Bigger, stronger in the offensive line, get more depth and defensive line, get some guys there that can come in and hopefully uh, play right away and get more athletic with more size. We feel like we did those things. Um, skill wise, feel really good about what we did in the secondary. Got a couple good corners, a couple good safeties that we think have a chance to come in and play, um, have an impact. Four really good receivers that we're excited about. We've added speed and size to our recruiting core, I mean, our receiving core feel great about and um, two outstanding outstanding backs that uh, two different styles one bigger um, pounder type guy that can hit the hole another quicker type guy with with very good quickness and speed and a tight end who's a playmaker we got a tight end who is a, a very good playmaker outstanding athlete that can stretch the field can make plays down the field so we really think we've helped ourselves athletically big play potential guys that can make plays on both sides of the ball and, uh, and with our size. And like I said, the credit goes to a lot of people. Our coaches did it. First of all, did a tremendous job of identifying the guys, getting them to come to camp, which a lot of our guys did, and, uh, and then doing the homework, getting to know them, and establishing relationships with the high school coaches, with the recruits, with their parents, and everybody else. And it was kind of a cross action. Somebody's responsible for a certain area, but he had other coaches coming in and helping him. So it was a joint effort there. Maybe the position coach would come in, the coordinator would come in, the recruiting area coach would come in, and a lot of guys involved. And then, it, again, it's a, it's a huge effort by a lot of people. Our support staff from academics did a tremendous job. Isa Rosa, Donald Snott, and that staff did a tremendous job from equipment to medical to strength and conditioning to video, really every department. Um, we had a lot of people contribute, a lot of student volunteers that helped out um, with the organizational part of it. So it, it takes a lot of people to organize the recruiting weekends and the travel and everything that we're doing and a lot of hard work. And I appreciate that by everybody, but I believe it paid, it's paid tremendous dividends because, dividends because I really feel good about this class and they're excited to be here. They, they love FIU, they want to be Panthers, and um, we're excited about it. So again, um, good balance. Anybody got any, uh, any questions? We've got 21 guys from the state of Florida all right, in this class. And we've also reached out into Georgia. We've got one out of Georgia, one out of Illinois, one from Oklahoma, and one from California. The California, there was a JC California kid who's also from Miami. So we're bringing him, bringing him back home. 13 on offense, 10 on defense, and one specialist. And a couple of those guys are guys that could possibly, you know, start out on offense and switch to defense or vice versa. So a lot of, a lot of flexibility, a lot of versatility in, uh, in this recruiting class. All right? Anybody? Have any questions? I'm sorry, who's that? Reeser. Yeah, not uh, not really. I mean, we didn't really, you know, recruit him too much out of high school. He's a guy that we we found out about. We knew about him a little bit, but we found out about him and. Um, you know, we wanted to go after and possibly get an older corner, JC corner, that maybe had a little more experience. We lost both our corners, two really good players. And so it is an area that we're looking for guys to feel right away. And we liked him a lot on film, brought him in, liked him as a person. And yeah, and we think he is a guy that, that hopefully can step in and, and have a chance to contribute um, early. He won't be here for spring ball, but he'll be here um, in, in summer term. Yeah. And uh, just kind of how did you spot him and who do you expect him to be made of? 
Yeah, he uh, he's a good player. He's a very good player. He had good production. He does have great speed. Um, you know, whether he's 4-3 or not, I'm not sure, but he's fast. I know that much. And, and not only is he fast, he's quick. He, um, he can make the first guy miss, got great, has great cutting ability, and he does have the long speed. So we're excited about him. He, he's not real tall. He's probably 5'9", but he's put together. He's put together very well, and uh, we'll be able to, you know, take a beat. I think he's about 190 pounds, so he's he is put together, and he can run. He can hit it up inside, and he can he can bounce it to the outside to the perimeter. So we've got two backs that we feel really good about: Sean Darius Phillips from Atlantic, bigger back. He, he's about 226, and uh, a physical back, but he also is very quick to hit the hole. His great vision, and he, you see him going when he decides to hit it, he goes. And he's got great leg strength, great power. First guy hits him, a lot of times just bounces off him. He's very, very strong in the lower body. How did you uh, make switching uh, so good in the radar? I, you know, I have no idea. I just know we, we watched him on film and we evaluated him and we, we really liked him. So um, we went after him, we recruited him, and our coaches did a tremendous job of getting him interested. He came in, came in on campus, um, you know, loved the place, and uh, fortunately signed with us. I'm sorry, one more time. Um, the secondary, the, you know, the secondary yep. Yeah, we, you know, we wanted to get, you know, get more guys in the secondary, uh, a corner and safety, both. You know, again, as I said earlier, we lost both corners, so we brought a couple guys in that we feel can come in and help right away. We already talked about Kyrie Reeser um, as a corner, junior college transfer. Very, very good player from San Jose City College, like him. Got good speed, good cover ability, and he's also aggressive. The thing I like about these corners, they're not only cover guys, they're also aggressive. They're, they're not afraid to come up and hit you. And um, so we feel, we feel great about that. We also have Isaiah Brown from Tampa Tech, another corner. That's a long corner. He's tall, has long arms, and can run. He's got excellent speed. Also um, a good return guy, a good cover guy. Again, that is, that is aggressive. And we also have a couple safeties that – you know, that we think can help. And they can also play, some of them have played a little bit of corner. JoJo Lewis and Isaiah Hill, who's already here. So some safeties that, that can play corner if need be, but right now we got them coming in as safeties. Yeah, you know, we wanted to get football players first and foremost. You know, it doesn't matter what size. But in the, in the offensive line, you know, we did want to get a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger. And there were some guys out there that we had in camp you know, that we have gotten to know. So, you know, Coach Shankweiler got a chance to work with them during camp and, like, you know, see their aggressiveness, see their athletic ability, see their toughness and all that. And uh, they're guys that we like. They're, they're very physical. They're very aggressive. And, um, you know, they can get after it. And that's something we're looking for. I think the smallest one out of the five we have is about 280 pounds. And that's Shane Magoo at center. You know, a couple of them are over 300 in the, in a, you know, 290 to 305 range, which is very good, you know, for a high school kid, especially since it's, it's good weight. It's a good 305 or a good 295, not sloppy, you know. Obviously, he'll get here and get with Chad Smith and our strength staff and, and you know, get their body in even better shape, but they, they're, they're in good shape to begin with. So they're, they're athletic and they're aggressive to go along with that size, which is, which is important, something we were looking for. <clears throat> well, honestly, I think all four of them have a chance to come in and help. Um, we wanted to get more size. We wanted to get more speed. We feel like we've done both. Um, we got four guys signed. Um, three of them have good size. You know, six feet, 190. Six one, you know, 185, something like that. Six two, six two and a half. I think he's about 180. So they've got good height and they've also got good size. But they can run. They have they have excellent speed. You know, you look at Darius Scott from Booker T. I mean, he can fly. He's got very very good speed and you know good height to go along with it. He's got to add a little bit of weight, which will come in time. But he can he can run. Stanley Thomas, very good player. You know, tall, six two. Um, got long arms, can run, can go up and get the ball, can really go up and get the ball and take it away from people. And then when he gets his hands on it, he can make people miss. He's, he's good after the catch. All these guys are good after the catch. Um, Ulysses Gillard, 
good size, six feet, but he's about 195, 197, has good speed. He's, he's, he's a strong physical, you know, wide receiver that can get the ball and break some tackles. And then Tony Gator, you know, we're looking at him as a slot and also a wide guy, but he's, he's a little smaller. He's 5'9", probably 180, but he's very quick, very fast, outstanding with the ball in his hands. He's a guy you can motion in and hand the ball on, you know, on the sweeps and that kind of stuff and, and get him the ball quickly and give him a chance to run. He's outstanding um, run after the catch and uh, also can go up and get the ball. Anything else? Any more questions, Coach? No? All right. Anything else, honey? We good? I think we're good. Good. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming.